What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Christmas is coming up on us quick like a deranged psychopath from the night. It's going to be here before we know it. And don't be caught lacking this year, man. Finalbossathletics.com. Code BOSS40, man. Get 40% off the dope sleeve hugging long sleeves, the joggers I wear in every video, all the channel merch. Make someone happy this holiday season. That way you can sleep in bed and not on the couch. That couch is even colder on Christmas, I promise. In today's video, we are taking on some Asian cuisine. I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite places to go is a Japanese steakhouse, a hibachi restaurant. You can get some soup. Sushi is an appetizer, you get some filet mignon, some chicken, but the real star of the show is that fry rice. Ooh. I feel like it's impossible to go there and not be like, hey, can I get a double order of that? What you normally put on, can we just double it? I don't care what it costs, just do it. But the issue, as with many things, if you watch them make it, boy, they're using like a stick of butter, more oils than you know what to do. I didn't know there were that many oils. And the finished product is excellent, but uh, what's it doing for us? Yeah, you know, not much. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic hibachi style chicken fried rice. Not only is this recipe absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at it. It's very easy to make and anabolic. If you've been looking to have hibachi style fried rice at home so you can save some money and save on adding inches to that waist, then look no further than this recipe because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. Baby, baby, baby. And you already know, man, that RJF anabolic cookbook, if you got it, this recipe's already in there, man. You can stop the video right now. You can go and just make it because all the instructions, the macros, the ingredients, what you need to weigh out, what you need to do, it's in here. It's my playbook, man. Basically, every recipe that I do, the way I eat, the the way I live, I stay anabolic. It's all right here, man. Check the link in my description. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, baby, let's get down to business. I got a Japanese style wok. We're heating it up on this grill and uh, it's time to start the show. Come on, first thing we're gonna do is hit our wok with some nonstick cooking spray. I got 92 grams of liquid egg beaters right here. You can swap these for liquid egg whites. Same macros, this is just yellow. It's gonna look prettier in that thumbnail. <laughs> and once our eggs are finished, we're actually gonna put them in a separate bowl and set them off to the side. Now what we wanna do is get some flavors going in here. What I have in this bowl is 56 grams of white onion, 10 grams of minced garlic, and 15 grams of ginger. I'ma pour them in here and let them soften and cook for a couple minutes. Oh man, you should smell it in here. The garlic, ginger, onion combination is killer. Now the next step, what we're gonna do is take 224 grams of chicken breast that I've cut into very small pieces. I didn't season them because this, boys, that's seasoning enough. We're gonna put them right down in here and let them cook. Now that the chicken's cooked through, I will add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, but you can skip this if you want. Now it's time to add our cooked jasmine rice. We need 240 grams, which is the exact same amount that's in one of these ready rice packs. Feel free to make your own rice and add it into this, but I'm all about convenience, man. So we dump that rice right in there. Then I've also weighed out 30 grams of light soy sauce. I'm just gonna add that right to the top. Use regular if you want. This just has less sodium, but I don't really think that matters. Now we just go through, mix everything up until that sauce is absorbed all the way through our rice. Now I'll just sit and let this simmer for a couple minutes. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, it's been like 10 minutes and we are literally almost done. What I have in this bowl is a frozen, I ought to show you, peas and carrots blend of vegetables. I weighed out 84 grams. We're just gonna dump these in here, along with our egg from earlier. Then all we're gonna do is go in and mix everything together, let it sit and cook for just a couple more minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, we officially have anabolic chicken fried rice right in our home. And then the final thing to do is to just sit it on a plate and serve it up. And the best part about this chicken fried rice, man, is we know what we put in it, we know it's gonna be amazing, and we know it's gonna help us towards our goals. And now that it's all served up, the final thing we gotta do to make sure it's Instagram ready is sprinkle some sesame seeds right on top. Bingo. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic chicken fried rice. Thank you. 
And there you have it, man. In about 15 minutes, we whipped this piece of majestic beauty up. So I always say, man, it's not about overthinking it. You can eat great at home without harming your diet progress, man. That's what this channel is all about. So you made it this far into the video, guys. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment below what you want to see me make. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. This is meal one for me today, man, and I'm gonna eat all of this. As you can see, it's pretty big. So you could easily split this into two servings. Four servings if you're a female and your servings are down a little bit. Whatever you need to do. And real quick, man, finalbossperformance.com. Check it out. Sour Moon Rock Aminos. Two scoops fills an entire jug. That's why it's not quite crystal clear. It's iridescent. Ooh, the whole gallon is crispy, man. Check it out. Good RJF10, I'll save you 10. All right, let's get in here, man. This is definitely just as big as a double order from your favorite hibachi restaurant, for sure. Get a little bit of everything, man. We got carrot, we got chicken, we got rice. Can you see that, man? See that steam coming off? That looks perfect to me. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, this, mm, this is so good. What makes this good is the mix of flavors. I mean, we got the carrots, the peas, the garlic, the ginger, the onions from the beginning. We let the chicken soak up some of that flavor. The soy sauce, I mean, we just did a lot to this, man. There's so much, just it's just hard to explain how good this is. I know on this channel, I'm always talking crap about chicken, rice, and veggies, but not this one. This is my one exception to the rule. We did something right here. I swore an oath many a moon ago that I'd never go back to that old way of dieting, and I feel like I'm breaking it right here. Although my taste buds say I'm not. What do you guys think? Am I cheating on my anabolic diet with this, or does this get to pass? Y'all let me know. Mm. Try to power through this thing so we're not sitting here forever. Seriously, man, this is just on another level. You gotta make this one. You gotta type me on Instagram. I just know you're gonna love it. If you try this one, I don't think anybody can not like this. Real talk. So in this entire recipe, to make it exactly how I did it, all the ingredients, the measurements, everything, what you end up with is, for the whole thing, 779 calories, only 7 grams of fat, 73 grams of protein, 106 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fiber. 73 grams of protein, only 7 grams of fat. That's great. If you look at that stick of butter they toss in when you actually get hibachi in, Japanese steakhouse. I mean, I don't know what that stick of butter is, but it sure ain't seven grams of fat. I'll tell you that. And this is the type of recipe you can make a bigger batch of, right? Split it into all your meals for the week. It'll microwave. Great. Or you double the ingredients, half them. So I'm telling you, if you've been eating regular plain white rice, this is going to taste like going on a tropical vacation. Final bite. Let's go. Mm. 10 out of 10, incredible. This is my fourth time having this recipe and I just started working on it yesterday. If that tells you anything, it's delicious. It tastes like you ordered it at a Japanese steakhouse without all the unknown variables of what they're putting in there. We control what we're putting in our bodies and when we do that, we're hitting our calorie goal and our protein goal for the day, we can't lose, man. This recipe along with plenty others are available in my cookbook, man. Easy to use, simple, my playbook, man. This is how I'm eating every day. It allows me to have the foods I love while still staying lean, still staying aesthetic, building muscle and not hindering my progress. If you are a foodie at heart and you want the ultimate foodies guide to being lean and shredded then this is what you want to do man link in my description appreciate you guys as always smash that thumbs up button for me comment anything down below subscribe if you're not subscribed and i appreciate you guys as always and until next time ladies and gentlemen i'll see each and every one of you at the next video see you guys i mean there's still some on there i still see something on there mm.